Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today I want to compare vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. Honestly, I have an account with both, and I'm constantly comparing, trying to decide which one I like better. What I want to show you today, I want to compare apples to apples. A lot of other videos that I've looked at when they're comparing, maybe they're comparing a, re, a free version against the free version. I highly recommend not getting the free version. You do get so many more benefits getting that pro level, that bottom level. But from here, I'm looking at myself trying to decide which one am I going to upgrade and what are the features. But what I've learned as I was searching, this isn't what I'm, I'm not, this is not what the video is about, um, you trying to upgrade. I'm gonna show you the features on the pro account and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to look at each one of the features one at a time because each of them are Chrome extensions. And what has been happening is all the features are on my page at one time. When I go in to upload a video, there's TubeBuddy features and there's vidIQ features and I actually like them all. But I started thinking, what if I compared them one at a time without the other one there and am i missing something so that's kind of my goal for you if you're like i am you're caught in between the two of them and you're like well, which one should i use um let me show you what i'm doing to help me with that decision and also i'll give you a tip at the end that i'm going to use as well so let's dig in and let's look at the features of each one and the price because like i said i'm comparing apples to apples i want you to see that that you know, both of them are the bottom level pro account or plan. All right. Now this one is vidIQ and vidIQ, um, you know, it has all the features here. Uh, how many right here, you're looking at this one, see where it says 750 a month. A lot of people want to look at the free, but we're looking at the one that you're paying for at the bottom. Okay. And as you'd see, there's only one user, which is good with me, one channel. That's fine. Um, competitor tracking, which I do like about vidIQ. Um, there's a couple of neat things, even on the higher plans. Um, but after that, there's a lot of, uh, description, keyword search, um, analysis, top tweets, videos, things like that. I'm actually going to take you into my account. Um, there's a lot of analytics in there, but what I noticed when I was in there, now remember, this is where my brain's going with the pro versus pro. I noticed that there's a lot of analytics. Well, a lot of these analytics are already in YouTube. I found there wasn't really for me, um, somebody else might know it a little deeper, but there really wasn't anything in the analytics that popped that I wasn't getting from YouTube. So this is where the research is going. So let's jump over to YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy. It starts at nine, but this is something neat that TubeBuddy does have. Um, you can you can mark this where it says, I have less than a thousand subscribers. Watch what happens, 450 a month. I love that TubeBuddy does that, that they help the small channels out. One of the things that's really hard when you're new on this online business and trying to set up all these software tools is in the beginning, you're thinking this is going to be free. Well, it's not. It, nothing is free. There ain't no free lunch, right? Even with this. But you're still trying to decide which tools do I need to buy. And I bought a couple tools that I absolutely didn't need in the beginning. But I, I, I didn't get scammed, but I got convinced that I needed them. And I bought them. So you're going to go through that. Everybody does. Um, so what I want you to do is really... Um, start with the pro account, start with something low and make sure you're using it before you upgrade. Um, but anyway, I love that about TubeBuddy. The 450 a month, that that's a piece of cake. All right. And if you want to pay yearly and you have more than a thousand subscribers, it's 720. Okay. So that gives you an idea there with price. I want to slide down just so you can kind of look at features. You can go um, Google vidIQ pricing or TubeBuddy pricing, and then you can sit down and compare features, okay? So um, tons of features. Now, I'm not gonna go into all those features because I have both of them, and I'm gonna show you what my channel looks like. I brought up a video right here, and it has both of the features showing. Um, and you'll see how busy it is, okay? We'll slide down, there's um, over here to the right, there's checklists. Um, I can go in, there's even more information, my vidIQ score, see where it says 72. I love looking at that score. Both of them, see how the certain keywords that I have, some of them are in blue and some of them are in green. The green I think is TubeBuddy, the blue or vidIQ, but both of them 
do the keyword um, analysis, which is great. So not, no difference there. And it's kind of neat to see that both of them have the same scores. So uh, keep going down. When you upload your video, I love how, see down here at the very bottom, I love how vidIQ will have the top three keyword searches. So I always like getting those. Um, what else do I like? Okay, uh, look up here in the right, top right corner. See how here it's telling me, I can open this up, the analytics, and it's telling me exactly how many videos are being watched uh, in the last 60 minutes, in the last 48 hours. Now, being a new channel, that's exciting to me because there was a time when um, I've run about uh, 300 to 400, sometimes 500 in 48 hours. And you're thinking, well, that's not very much. It is if you're new and you're small and it's fun to watch those numbers get bigger. And this is your total time, watch time, 4,000 hours. Yes, I just applied to be monetized. Um, and you can watch those numbers increase if that's important to you. I guess once you get huge, that might not be important, but um, these are things I like. But somebody, as I was reading another article or blog, they said, take one of the extensions off and then see what's there and then compare. So let's do that now. I'm going to take one of the extensions off and I'm going to show you how. Uh, up in the top right hand corner, there's three little dots. Open it up and go under more tools. And then over here, it says extensions. You can turn off and turn on your extensions. So let's turn off uh, vidIQ, okay? And we're going to look at TubeBuddy. So now that we're, that's off, I'm going to refresh my page and then we're going to go back and look and see what it looks like without TubeBuddy. Is there anything that we're missing? Okay, as you can see, I um, came back in and I had to refresh the page. So there was a lag for me anyway. But now there's only green next to all those keywords. The one thing that's really neat about this, this is one of my older videos and I brought it up on purpose because I want to show you how you can use these tools when you're uploading, but it's good to go back. Like this one here has been up for about seven months. It's got like 8,000 views. It's my number one ranking video. And I can go back in and maybe get rid of some of those tags that are not ranking and maybe do some research on the side and then change them up if that makes sense. And now I have TubeBuddy. Okay. This is what I'm using. So notice the analytics that I had up here in the corner is gone. That was one of the things that made me decide I want to keep at the very least the pro account with vidIQ. Again, I don't know which one I'm going to upgrade, but I definitely don't want to lose those analytics. I look at them. I like them. Um, so I can, uh, go here to TubeBuddy to help me come up with more keywords by just selecting this icon. And I can select here where it says Keyword Explorer. And it's a free tool or it comes with TubeBuddy. And in this tool, I can put in the word Hootsuite. I could even say Hootsuite versus Buffer. That's the name of my uh, title of my video. Let's see what happens, what comes up. And what it's going to do, it's going to give me some long tail keywords over here to the right. Hootsuite versus Buffer 2019, Hootsuite versus Buffer versus Later. Um, maybe I could take off the versus Buffer, see what happens. But these are all keywords that I could try to put in and take out some of the, the ones that don't have anything. And it's all right here within this program. Okay, Hootsuite Tutorial, uh, Hootsuite Review. Hootsuite, uh, social media marketing. So I could add those. Actually, I could click them, hit copy to clipboard and go right in and add them in. So that's how easy it is to continue to use these tools. So that's TubeBuddy. And I'm going to go up on the side. Another thing that I like that TubeBuddy has is this little checklist. There's 13 best practices. And on here, I've got 11 out of 13. I think I, I don't post directly from here to Facebook or Twitter. I kind of do it a different way so it doesn't pick it up. But those are two things that are on there. All right, so if you looked at this um, with TubeBuddy, I would almost think, if I didn't know what else TubeBuddy did behind the scenes, um, it looks like vidIQ would be better. But let's put vidIQ on and take TubeBuddy off. Now remember, uh, you've got that keyword search tool that's right at your fingertips. All right, I'm going to pause, which won't be long for you, and I will pull up vidIQ. I got to change it and refresh everything. All right, welcome back. I know that was like two seconds for you, but um, vidIQ is on now, and notice I've got my analytics up here at the top, which I like, 
And then right here in the center, I've got some analytics. There's an action score, 72 out of 100. The higher that score is, the better. And um, different things, tags with volume. See, my tag volume is low. Again, that's telling me you need to go in and change some of your tags up. Um, I left it here on purpose just so you could see. And then again, all the tags that are ranking have numbers next to them. The higher the number, the better. And then I've got these higher ranking tags at the bottom. So my, my advice to you, if you're in the same dilemma, like which one should I use? Use one at a time and, and ask yourself, is that something I want or don't want? Now, I'm getting ready to decide which one. I'm only going to upgrade one. And here's my tip to you. Go into only one of those two accounts and go to that higher, um, let me go back up to the pricing. Maybe get the Legend account for one month with TubeBuddy. Use it, see how I like it, and then back it down to the Pro. Both of them allow you to do that. And then the next month, get the vidIQ top account. And I think it's called a plan and it's the boost plan right here. Okay. At $39 a month. Yes, this one's cheaper. Um, sometimes I don't look at price as much as the, the value of the product, which one am I really going to use? And I see good things in both. I know vidIQ is really good about comparing. Um, you can go, if you get the boost, you can go into your, um, competitors page and it'll give you a spreadsheet that you can export of all their videos and their keywords and which ones have ranked and things like that. You could go in and export it and then get lower your account and then use that data to drive your content, to decide what kind of content that you're going to have. You don't want to um, look at your competitor's stuff and recopy it per se, but you want to say, see, what are they doing? What's ranking? What are people searching for? And then you can say, okay, I can do the same topic, but do it better. Maybe add more information to it so that my audience can get even more out of it. Because you got to remember, there's billions of people out there and um, there's someone out there for everyone, if that makes sense. So hopefully this helped you just, you know, to kind of get a feel of what you need to do to look at vidIQ and TubeBuddy. I'm not going to sit here and say, um, Either one is 100% better than the other. I'm finding some features in each one that I like. So uh, if it's going to help me with my business, then I'm going to use them. I just now need to decide which one am I going to up my account with. Um, so if anybody uses these they and they've made a decision, they've done some research, feel free to add that in the comments. Um, not only will you be helping me, but the other people that are watching it as well. Um, that's what this is all about, helping each other. Um, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. I am posting videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3.30. So don't forget to hit the notification button as well. And I'm uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.